Hello, I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Fairy Fencer F Refrain Chord. Now, it's been a long time since we did a Fairy Fencer game on this channel. Advent Dark Force. How long ago was that? That was a long time ago, wasn't it? But here we are again, though, with another Fairy Fencer. And this time, we've actually got a different playstyle going on. It's a tactical RPG. In a similar vein to something like Fire Emblem or Hyper Devotion Noir. And as for story, as far as I'm aware, I'm not 100% on this and there may be something that happens within the story that explains something else, you know how it is. But as far as I know, this is a slight retelling of the story we had in Fairy Fencer F and Advent Dark Force. So we're going to be following along with Fang partway through his journey once again to collect all the Furies around the world in order to revive the goddess. But I imagine there's gonna be some kind of twist there at some point. That's what I feel like's gonna happen. There's gonna be something else going on. But something that is definitely different though is there is actually a new character that is joining him on his journey. One who supports the group with the power of her songs. So that's gonna be very, very interesting. So let's get a new game going. But first we have to get the housekeeping out the way. You know how it is. If you want to support the channel, there is a link down in the description to Patreon. You can also press the join button below the video if you want to become a channel member. If you enjoy what you see here, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can remain updated with the videos. And it is worth mentioning, I would like to thank Idea Factory International for sending me a code for this game so we can have this little look here. But thoughts, opinions, and cups of teas are indeed my own. So. Let's get into a new game, everyone. Okay, so we've got three difficulty levels here. Easy, normal, and hard. Easy. Perfect for those just looking to enjoy the story. Enemies are at their weakest level. Normal is standard difficulty for those who want to think about strategy as they play. And hard, the most challenging level. Perfect for those looking for a battlefield where they can never let their guard down. We'll go normal, though. You can change the difficulty any time during your gameplay. Okay. That's cool then. That's cool. Long ago, the people were given knowledge by the goddess, and civilization flourished. They built towers stretching toward the heavens, and weapons so powerful they could pierce even the gods. However, that civilization was decimated in a violent war between the goddess and the vile god. Ages have passed since then. Our story begins with a young man named Fang who wields a fury, a special weapon that houses the power of a fairy. Wielders of such weapons are known as fencers. With his friends, Fang is working to collect additional furies in order to revive the ancient goddess. I wonder what point we are in the story, though. <laughs> It's going to be very strange not having an English dub because I am so familiar with these characters in English at this point, especially Fang here. I really enjoyed KG Tang's work as Fang. Arin-san, and there's a new character. これが歌の力。The evil one called Fang. Also, why are the characters faces in silhouette right now? Kind of strange. Kidana. Ooh, I'm liking this sort of miniature look they've got going on here. Can't remember how that's achieved. What, there's a, there's a certain thing you can do with a camera zoom in order to achieve that look. Can someone remind me? Because it's going to bug me otherwise. Right, so victory condition defeats Sherman. Lost condition, all allied units are defeated. Battle start. 
Okay, unit movement. Areas that allied units can move to during their turn are highlighted in blue. Squares, where a character cannot execute a regular attack, are highlighted in orange. Okay. Move next to a square where an enemy is standing to attack. Alright then. So, we can go there. Can't, can't we go there and attack him? Like, can we not face left? I imagine we can, right? Commands. When the command list pops up, start by selecting attack. Upon selecting attack, the squares where your units can attack will be highlighted in red. Ah, we can, we can. Select the enemy standing above the square, marked in red, to begin your attack. Alright then, so what have we got in skills? S Flight Edge. An attack that deals damage to the enemy directly in front of you. Can reach enemies that are slightly higher than you. Okay, so we're taking into account the height of the battlefield. Interesting, interesting. Items, what we got? 5 potions, 100 HP. Okay. Let's see about a normal attack. Now, should I attack you, this mage trainee, or Sherman here? I'm feeling like we should probably try and take out the mage trainees. And I'm also wondering with Avalanche here, because if I remember correctly, Avalanche is the name of Fang's weapon. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. So I'm assuming we're going to build up a Fair Eyes bar, similar to what we had in the... RPG version of this game. So, let's see about... Yeah, we'll, we'll attack the mage trainee, mage trainee. <laughs> Waiting after attacks. Once your attack is finished, you can choose the direction your character will face while waiting. If the enemy attacks you from behind, you will take extra damage. Okay. Good piece of information there, we need to remember that. Be sure never to show your back to the enemy. Indeed, indeed. So maybe like try and surround yourself with other characters with all their backs facing inwards. So you never get a back attack. Something like that maybe. So we kind of want to maybe do that. Okay, so where are we taking Tiara then? Let's see about this character here. So what she got for skills. Maki. Glaive tech. An attack that deals damage to all enemies in range. And we got Cure. Restores a small amount of HP to a single ally. I'm assuming the items are the same. Like, it's a group wide. Why is it saying remaining three? At the top of the items there. Even though we got potions five. Can we only use three items? Hmm. We'll find out later, I assume. Okay, so let's go with just a normal attack on question marks. I'm liking her hair though, very sharp, very clean edge, I like it. Ooh. Is the avalanche bar at the bottom showing me how much it will fill up? Because we've got a bit of a yellow bit there at the bottom, and then there's a bit of a red. Hmm, maybe that's it, so let, let's, let's see if that carries over to the next character as well. Right, so... It seems to be more than we were told. Okay, so, let's see about your skill. Flash Scythe. Deal damage to all enemies in range, with a low chance to inflict stun. Enemies, so I'm assuming it's, it wouldn't attack... Um, Fang here... And Tiara. I'm assuming. Alright. Twenty-three. Hello, hello. Right, the new character. Fairy Aria. Once the Muse's Arnie gauge is full... Ah, okay, I see, I see. The Fairy Aria command can be selected from the command menu. All allies within the Fairy Aria receive the benefits of the song. The benefit each ally is receiving will just be displayed in the upper right corner of the screen during their turn. Okay, okay. So, worth pointing out though, something that's available in the options, and this is something that very much benefits me, like as a YouTuber and stuff like that, is the case of her skills do actually have... 
Where is it? There, the Fairy Aria. These songs do actually have different actual songs attached to them. But obviously that would cause content ID issues on YouTube. There is an option to turn it off in the menu. So you won't hear the songs in the actual Let's Play, but there is songs playing in the actual game when you choose these skills, just so you know. Some good songs, it's just it'd be content ID like crazy. So, you know, I've turned it off. But I want to point it out because I am very grateful that option is there. So thank you, developers. Thank you, Idea Factory. Thank you, Sting. It's just very, very much appreciated when companies do that. Very much appreciated. So, let's do Notes of Faith then. Song that increases the physical attack of allies in range during Avalanche Harmonics. High chance to inflict attack down. Okay. So, I kind of want to see where I want to place her. So, like... Does she not move like the others? Just the way it's... Like, the others moved when I selected where they had to go. Hmm. Okay, it seems a bit different. Okay, let's go with notes, notes, notes of faith. Notes of faith. Just had to make a correction there with a little cheeky edit because I'll show you the option. It's like, so at some point, I actually turned it back on. It's like the replace battle music there. That's what I was talking about. It's like I turned it back on at some point. I forgot to turn it off, so I, have to, I had to make a cheeky edit there. So, you know, again, to avoid content ID issues. And again, thank you, developers. Thank you, developers. Right, so, Fang, let's see about your S Flight Edge now on this guy. Attack effect. Lovely. And we'll stand by in that direction. Right, so... Hmm... Damage to all enemies in range, so it should attack all of them, right? Based on how that's worded. It's like an attack that deals damage to all enemies in range. Which is everyone on the red squares. Right? Let's see. Yep, that's cool then. So they've gathered up nicely for me. So I'll keep you facing that way. And we'll get your skill, Flash Scythe. And let's actually see about moving you there. Flash Scythe there. Oh, it's not going to get the guy on the pillar. That's what I was after, really. So what we'll do with you is just a normal attack on Sherman. Huh. And we'll wait. When both the allied and enemy muses are singing, the area where their voices blend creates dramatic resonance. Okay. Resonance area occurs when songs overlap. Here, the effect of the muse's song is greatly increased. However, this will also increase the power of the enemy's song. Be careful. Okay. I wonder then. Kind of want to make a bigger resonance area. We could finish it. Range singing boosts your song's range. Intensity. Intensity singing boosts your song's effects. Ooh. Let's go with intensity there. Intense singing boosts your song's effects. Yep. And we'll finish up by facing that way. And another skill here, another S Flight Edge on Sherman. Very, very flashy, this. Very, very flashy. We'll still face that way. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll just still go with normal attack on Sherman, will you? And next turn we'll see about... Well, maybe we should do it now. The avalanche here. Let's do it. Avalanche harmonics. 
Go for it. Oh, nice. What the? Sayonara. What? Fang! Fang san! Huh? That went badly. I thought I'd won that fight. What? Ah, la la. Megami to Jashin ga arasoi hajime chatta ka. Mata onaji michi ni nat chau kedo. Ma i ka. Omoshiro ku nare ba yuruste kureru shou. Seeing as I'm not sure when the Japanese will end compared to like the English text, it's probably best to put auto on. You always have to be wary of cups of teas in Fairy Fencer. We've learned our lesson here. Fury <laughs> きめた。次はこれにしよう。破滅はあくまでさりげなく。さあ、誰も見たことのない混沌へ。どっかの誰かが退屈しない遊びを思いついてくれますように。Chapter 1, A New Beginning Indeed, I hope so. I mean, Fang died. Typical. I mean, you better hope that was a dream, mate. I imagine it was either a premonition or a future timeline. Something along those lines. You know how these things are. I mean, you're still in prison, mate, so may as well go back to sleep. I mean, mate, you're always hungry anyway. It would be no different. なんか前にもこんなことあったな。あ、そうだ。
いやー懐かしいアリンっていうのは妖精で簡単に言うと俺の相棒みたいなもんだ So we're sort of getting filled in on the backstory here, aren't we? But it's still very much the question of roughly where are we in terms of the story we know? That's what I want to know. Zeruins にあった妖精武器フューリーを俺がその場の乗り感覚で抜いたことでそこからは一心同体の関係っていうかいや違うな。そんなまっとうな関係じゃねえ俺様がアリンの主人であいつは従順なしもべまあだから完全に主従関係ってやつだなまあとにかく俺はアリンと出会ったことでフューリーの使い手フェンサーになったで今は女神を復活させるために世界中のフューリーを探し回ってるってわけだふう Is he telling right now? Because this isn't Neptunia. This would like, make sense if, like, say, Nepgear or Neptune was telling us as the player. But Fang isn't in a world that breaks the fourth wall. So who is he telling? Is someone there? Is someone in a jail opposite? Also, where is Eren? Huh? Nan de son nako to stero ka? アリンそうしろってうるさいんだよアリンのやつは記憶を失ってるんだがなぜか女神を復活させるっていう使命だけは覚えてるなま正直フューリー探しは面倒だが女神を復活させると何でも願いを叶えてくれるらしいんだなそんなご褒美があるならってことで Yeah, and we all know his wishes for infinite food. I might take it off the auto to be honest because it's got this sort of almost pause after he speaks where we have to wait like one or two seconds and it it doesn't seem as snappy as I would have hoped it would be. Is there a way to actually change that? Because there might be. I'll have a look in the menu when I get the chance. <laughs> Just means I may interrupt the Japanese occasionally until we see if we can sort that. そして俺は思ったんだああやる気なくしたフューリーとかもうどうでもいい俺の財布が行方不明の世界なんて滅びてしまえばいい I mean mate you, you really should do your wallet is on this world so しかし闇の中にこそ光あり絶望の淵にこそ希望あり財布をなくし金欠で苦しみ腹が減ってもう一歩も動けないそんな絶対絶命の状況の時だった俺の目に飛び込んできたんだよ光り輝く黄金の上りがな A shining golden banner of hope スイルバーチ名物スリバチラーメン超特盛を食べきれたらお代は無料 That much food? You? I could see you doing it. I could see you doing it. I can certainly imagine it. <laughs> 
Really? Really? Ramen yai to bikonda ano kesan ga masa ka sara naru higeki o umu koto inaru nante. Suzuki ga kini naru ka? Daga, zanen nagara Suzuki wa jikai da. Jikai, fang sange. Nige, tai doku no Suzuki kagi, chihei sen no kara tai. Go kitai kudasai. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. Thank you. I was so, so confused. Like, who was he telling? <笑>結局、お腹いっぱいになっちゃって時間切れで食べきれずに終了払うお金もないから牢屋へ一直線ってだけじゃないああ、もうあんたって人はいつまで経っても変わらないわねもっとしっかりしなさいよ it didn't make sense she wasn't here though. I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking it as well at this point. Are we going to wander around this jail here? And are we going to have the guards who are constantly saying, Stop resisting? しもべならあるじの危機に一早く駆けつけろ。誰があんたのしもべよ。前にも言ったけど、フェンサーと妖精は対等なの。絶対に覚えておいて。でも確かに少し遅かったみたい。まさかゴキブリ相手に会話をし
そんな言い方で大丈夫なの待って待って待ってお前 S キャラってわけでもないだろう無理するのはよくないぞいつもの素直で優しいアリンでいいアリのままアリのままが一番だなうーん開けろください開けてくださいおっデロデロ You really want out don't you? <笑>いい機会だから約束もしてもらっちゃおうかなこれからは私のことをちゃんとパートナーって認めることはい復唱してなんだそれ私とファングの間には切っても切れない濃い絆があるんだからそれも認めて私をきちんと尊重すること分かったああはいはい分かった分かった約束するよ I like the change in his voice though 約束するじゃなくてちゃんと口に出してめんどくせえ一生ここで砂粒を数えてたいアリンをパートナーと認め尊重します I miss these faces へへへ約束だからね今度はそっちが約束を守る番だほらさっさとここを開けろはーいちょっと待っててね Did you have the key? Hmm. You know, you're going to go to the same way. Jana, you're going to go to the same way. 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 Kinda, you're only out of your cell. You're not out of the entire jail just yet. ふふん。助けに来てあげた私に感謝してよね。ああ。そういえばそうだったな。いった。なんで私の頭を叩いたの名前気なしもべにお仕置きしただけだ。私もべって言った。私を尊重するって約束したのに。何が約束だ。あん